Well, good evening, everyone. I'm Brian Spiros, and thanks for joining us. Tonight, police in New Haven are searching for a killer after a man was stabbed to death earlier today. It happened early this morning at an apartment on Saltonstall Avenue. News 8's Renee Schmiel is live at the New Haven Police Department with the very latest. Renee. Brian, police are still investigating. They are following several leads, but at this point, they're not saying what those are. Maria Canones lived in this first floor apartment on Saltonstall Avenue for seven years. This is where police say a man was stabbed early this morning. She still lives in the neighborhood. Only I see the police, I get scared. I see some the yellow thing. And I say, oh, what happened? Police had an area in front of the building blocked off as they tried to figure out what happened. They got a call just after 5.30 this morning that someone inside had been stabbed and needed help. A neighbor who didn't want to show her face on camera saw the police arrive. I saw the flashing lights. I got a little nervous, and then that was it. And then I saw him being taken out. On the gurney. A 50 year old man was rushed to Yale New Haven Hospital where he died about five hours later. Police are now investigating it as a homicide. When I woke up this morning, I seen the tape. I told my husband he came down and he seen that somebody was killed. Police have identified the victim as James Edward Foley. He didn't live in this apartment, he lived on State Street. Neighbors say they heard something that got their attention. Yeah, I did hear some. Maybe someone arguing, um, but I didn't really pay any mind. And then when I woke up this morning, I seen the tape. Neighbors are horrified that this happened here. Some of them say they already don't feel safe, but others disagree. I'd rather not live out here with my kids. I don't want to raise my kids out here. It's fine. You know, sometimes it's some problem, but it's okay. Police say there's no danger to the public since they believe Foley's attacker targeted him. Live in New Haven, Renee Schmiel, News 8.